Mais tant qu'à fois, c'est podium pour tout Haïtien ordinaire qui fait un travail extraordinaire. Quel que soit le côté où il y a à travers le monde, nous menons sur le podium de la foi. Les gens qui ne sont pas ou qui ne pas mieux, nous devons valoriser les gens qui foi. Ce sont des Haïtiens qui font un travail extraordinaire. Et ce sont des gens ordinaires. Ils sont humbles, ils ne parlent même pas de tête. C'est ça qu'ils fait qui parle pour eux. Et je dis à eux, ils ont une chance. Ils viennent partager la vie privée, la vie professionnelle. Avec vous, côté quoi, besoin d'inspiration, côté que y a guidé pour capable de progresser tout. Mais tant qu'à foi, c'est podium tout haïtien ordinaire qui fait un travail extraordinaire. Nous valorisons yo, dans mi tant qu'à foi. Dans salut tout le monde, non pas moi, c'est Marc Lubin, Abdou, bienvenue dans mi tant qu'à foi. Nous connaissons que mi tant qu'à foi, nous recevons des haïtiens ordinaires. Quand font un travail extraordinaire, nous recevons des gens tout qui viennent bailler information sur ce qui est important qu'on a supposé qu'on ait et prend avantage de tout ça qui l'a pour. Mais malheureusement, il y a un délai. Information on pas qu'on elle. Et puis, pour passer tout ça pour quitter sur l'autre monde qui prend, et surtout dans la communauté noire, et c'est rarement nous avons des informations. Les gens ne supposent pas que les gens supposent pas que les gens ne connaissent pas tout qui pour nous donner bon des informations pour nous décider et prendre une route qui est importante pour nous valoriser tête nous comme ça doit. Et je dis à nous pour recevoir une jeune demoiselle qui est sortie dans Turner Tech et c'est la section de l'école vocationnelle qui fait partie de Dead County Public School. Non, c'est Johanna Saint-Val. Il travaille dans Turner Tech et c'est une bonne information. Motiver et encourager les jeunes pareil. Pas seulement les jeunes, tout le monde qui est intéressé à apprendre au métier. Soit vous allez dans Turner Tech, soit vous allez dans l'INSEE Hopkins. Et quel que soit côté l'école vocationnelle là, qui fait partie de Dead County Public School, eh bien, que c'est classe anglais, que c'est classe LPN, que c'est domaine information, information technology et computer et qui c'est dans la construction bon classe pour so, pour décider et puis gain aide financière tout donc comme ça numéro principal pour nous répondre pour toute information c'est 305 558 800 mais Internet Tech gain pas Joana Nabdou bienvenue welcome to the show Thank you. and our show today will be in two languages Creole and English mm -hmm. and then how are you I'm good in you. I'm all right. And just tell me a little bit about you before we start going into Turner Tech, everything that you have to say, the good things that you need to share with us today. Um, as you said, my name is Johanna St. Val. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. I went um, to Arch Creek Elementary. Then I went to Aspira Rim Middle School. And then I went to Turner Tech as my high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, earlier, you said that you had a scholarship to go to Barry University. Yes. And your scholarship, and what is your major now? My major is criminology, and I'm minoring in psychology. Mm -hmm. And how long do you have to go to finish your class? Three more years. Three more years, yes. okay. It's just around the corner. It's yeah. not a lot. But you study a lot. Kind you of. You work, yeah. and you study. How do you balance that? Um, I have six classes. Mm -hmm. I take, when I was in um, the spring semester, I had four classes, mm -hmm. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I had two Tuesday and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. After school, I would just go to straight to work. Okay. But you have a job at uh, Turner Tech right now. Yes. And your job is, what I do am, you do there? I'm a clerical assistant. Mm -hmm. I help the people in the office, I file, I call people who were absent for class. I am the attendance clerk. Mm -hmm. I'm in charge of taking care of attendance and helping everybody in the office and the teachers. Okay, do you work mostly with adults or with just young people like you? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. As in uh, your working hours are? Five to nine. Five to nine. Yeah. Okay, now we are going to talk about adult classes today, right? Mm -hmm. And what do they have available at uh, Turner Tech? 
Well, we have English classes, we have basic education, mm -hmm. uh, we have welding, that's a career course, we have barbering, we have um, construction, electricity, AC, mm -hmm. we have GED courses, everything, basically. Okay, most of those classes are in English, right? Yes. That's when, if I don't know enough English, can I still go to Turnatech? You can. Okay, what do I need to do? Well, first, when we you come in, we bio you, which means we put you in our system because we use Focus. That's mm -hmm. also what Miami-Dade County schools use. Mm -hmm. um, we bio you, and then we have you take a test to see wh what is your English proficiency. Mm -hmm. And depending on the test, we can see whether before you take those classes, you have to take an English class and what level you are so we can place you in the right class. Okay. Some people will be saying that they don't have enough money. It might be a lot of money to pay, okay, to go to, let's say, AC classes. Mm -hmm. Let's say, uh, what are the classes that they have? IT classes, right? Yeah. Do they have that? We have digital and, literacy. And what else? Um, our other classes? Uh-huh. Um, like I said before, AC, barbering, welding. We have... Plumbing, mm -hmm. courses like that. Okay, all of those classes that they can get uh, financial aid for them, right? Our financial aid, mm -hmm. it's mostly, it's like we don't have financial aid. It's for people, like let's say that you're a refugee. Mm -hmm. If you come from another country that's in times of difficulty, mm -hmm. then we have a program called Savez. It's for people that are in political asylum, mm -hmm. if they need financial aid. Also, if you're a veteran with the GI, the GI Bill, mm -hmm. you can get um, financial aid or they can cover it for you. Okay, that's when they need to apply for it, right? Yes. In order for them. Where do they go to apply? Is that the same FAFSA, uh, that gov that they go and apply for it? Yes. Okay, do you know how long it will take in order for them to know they are qualified? Usually, fast forward always takes a couple of days after they you input yourself in the system. Mm -hmm. So you get an email afterwards. It usually takes two to four business days, and then mm -hmm. the, um, you'll know if you have financial aid or not. Okay, but most of the time they think that uh, it's a long way to to take a trade. Uh, they call it an vocational school. It's more than a year or two and they are not too sure that after that they are going to be able to be, to have a job if the school is going to refer them to places where they are looking for qualified people how does it work with uh, Turner Tech? for example someone just finished ac okay air conditioning mm -hmm. classes and they want to to start working right away is there a way that uh, Turner Tech will be able to help to assist well, yes. Most of our vocational teachers are already in that field. They have their own businesses or they're in a company. So you can ask your teacher to refer you. And since they have the connections, you'll be able to find a job right away. Mm -hmm. uh, the class, will, how long is it? Uh, does it take to finish, let's say, like that? It's mostly a year. A it's year. typically um, depending on when you come in mm -hmm. and also because you have to pay your balances before you can go on to the next trimester, so it's mostly a year. Mm -hmm. And right now, what are those, or what is the class that Turner Tech is uh, focusing on and they need the, the most people right now? Um, I would say ESOL, mm -hmm. because there are um, a lot of people that come in, they don't really speak English or they want to learn English, mm -hmm but sometimes they don't have the money to do so or the capabilities to come in or the hours per se don't fit well with them. So I would say so. Mm -hmm. And you, at Turner Tech, do they have classes only in the morning? Or how is the schedule, okay, for whether someone is working in the morning or someone else will be working at night and they have to balance to see, okay? How is the schedule? Uh, during the day, we don't have any classes because that's when the high school takes over. Mm -hmm. Our classes, like the, the vocational, vocational section. section, starts at 5, mm -hmm. and sometimes it ends at 9 or 10, depending on the class. Mm -hmm. Do they have classes over the weekend? Um, the only class we have over the weekend is the citizenship class, and mm -hmm. that's online through Zoom. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's mean whoever is going to turn it, 
Turner Tech, let's mm-hmm. say they have mostly construction classes. If somebody is interested, like electricity, as you said, mm-hmm. plumbing, they have it available. And what else? Um, construction. Constructions. And you can open your... And, and we can go through it and let them know. Okay. We have um, welding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just go ahead. Just give a list of what you have. Plumbing, barbering. Those are our CTE classes, mm-hmm. the career classes. And the other basic classes that we have is um, citizenship, ETO, GED, high school completion. And um, we also have intro to computers mm-hmm. for our senior learners. Okay. Listen, uh, if they need to register for classes, okay, uh, at what time should they go there? They can come in at 5. Mm-hmm through eight. That's what times when you can come in and we'll be able to register you. Okay, between calling and going there, which one is the best? Coming. Like coming physically to the building, uh-huh. coming in and asking to be registered. Why is that? Because that way we can ask all your information physically mm-hmm. and you can also see to make sure everything is okay. Mm-hmm. And also you have to pay um, face to face. Okay, the thing is, if uh, someone is thinking about right now going to Turner to get some info, they might the sa- at the same time register for a class. What do they need to have with them when they are going for a visit, for example? Okay. License and registration mm-hmm. and Florida ID. Florida ID. Yes. Okay. And in case that they don't have a computer at home, if they want to apply for FAFSA, is there a way that the school, well, well, there they can help them go to on the computer and trying to start the application for FAFSA? Yes. Do you, do you have that available? Yes. Esmin, don't stop yourself, okay, to learn something. And tant qu'on dit pour apprendre au métier, nous avons 21 l'école et il y aurait le collège pour nous. Parce que quand il y a classe que nous apprenons, nous qualifions, par exemple, sous prend LPN, qui prend un an, okay, et puis qu'on y a besoin de faire RN, moi j'ai un crédit pour aller entrer dans Miami Dade. OK dans n'importe quelle autre école. Li important pour nous capable de tout dans 305 558 8000. Ça c'est main office de County Public School, de Communication Department côté que pour aller bon information sur différentes écoles à partir de zip code côté orienté, c'est pas toute école qui a le même programme. Tenez tête gain plus construction, soit aller dans l'autre école, li même les gains droit c'est beaucoup plus mécanique. Par exemple, soit les Ma- M- Miami Lakes. OK? Là, soit aller, ou avoir un heavy equipment, ou avoir un heavy duty mécanique, et l'autre bagaille. Mais chaque école a une spécialité, ou a pas yo. Et puis, il y a toute une classe anglais. Si l'anglais n'a pas fini trop de job, il y a une aide pour arriver dans le niveau côté qu'on peut prendre classe. Là. Il suffit qu'on relève dans 305 558 8000. Mais si vous avez besoin de relève dans Internet Tech, nous avons garantie ou carré et tout. Mais nous ne pouvons pas dire que vous allez arrêter par là avec vous dans le téléphone. Il y a un bon rendez-vous pour capable passer passer dans l'école. What is the number that they can call? 305 691 8324. Ok, et ils peuvent commencer de 3 à 9. 3 to 9, yes. 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. And yes. this is when they are going to have. But within your experience there, you have seen people that started and finished. Okay, is there one of the story that you have on your mind that you can share with them to motivate our people and say it's good for them? Because some people will say, hey, uh, I don't think so. If I go there, I will make money. I don't think so. Okay, they, they have doubt about it. Is there something that you can share with us? Any story, maybe yourself, um, that when you started then working there and what you have seen, the progress of some people? Um, well, since I started, it hasn't been that long, but I did work there when, since I was a freshman in high school, mm-hmm. for night school. There were a lot of people that came in that sometimes come from other countries that want to learn other languages like English per se or they want to learn like a actual career mm-hmm. and they come in like they start and it's like it's kind of fulfilling to mm-hmm. see them grow because 
they come in, they're kind of shy. They don't really know what to say or do. And like as they come back and either pay or just come to visit, mm -hmm. you see that they get happier and they're actually starting to make a name for themselves and get better. Mm -hmm. and, and let's talk about yourself, okay? And uh, like your parents, are they in the same field or the same level of education that you are right now? And how do you see progress within your family that you can share with us? Well, my mom, mm -hmm. she came and went to Lindsay College. Mm -hmm. She is, I know she's an LPN, mm -hmm. that right now she's working to in a nursing home. Mm -hmm. And she's a residential therapist, I believe. Mm -hmm. So she helps the residents. Um, Get back on the feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. And my dad, um, he went to school in Mexico, I mm -hmm. believe. And he graduated. He, he studied abroad. He came and he works for a U.S. company mm -hmm. at K. Monix Foundation. Mm -hmm. And he's an economist. And so he gives them reports about Haiti. Um, the statistics involved, agriculture, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. When you look at your parents, are you proud of them? What do you tell them? Mm -hmm. Do they give you a story about themselves, how they grow up and get here? Yeah. And, and when you compare, okay, what, what do you tell them? That I'm proud. Mm -hmm. And why? Because they made it a long way and they're still fighting. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of like uh, friends that are in the same situation, and then are they on the same path going to college and everything? Yes, for the most part. Some of them, even though they might not go to college or they're taking a year off, they still um, go forward to work, provide for themselves, and help out their families. Mm -hmm. And are you proud of your community because? How old are you now? 19. 19. But you have been looking and participating in a lot of stuff that the young people are doing. How do you see progress? Are you okay with what you see? And what would you like for them to do and for us to be better as a community? Um, for the most part, I think we're doing okay. Mm -hmm. But... Um, like sometimes you see uh, there's a rally and there's a bunch of young people involved. So that means we're getting more involved in our communities mm -hmm. and seeing what we don't like or what we do like. I think for the most part we're doing good, but there's a lot of stuff we can do better. Like? Um, for instance, I see that sometimes there's a lot of people focused on their outward appearance or m materialistic stuff. I think that we should remember our roots and um, try to remember that being materialistic or worrying about what's outside doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes it's okay to worry about that stuff, that we should always remember mm -hmm. to be human and love everybody. Mm -hmm. and, and you're not thinking about being in politics when you get older, like 25, 35? No. You, you're not going to close the door in case. Why not? Pol politics isn't really my sort of place. Uh -huh. I just hear about it. I don't really pertain to politics. Uh -huh. But you listen, you see what they are doing, but you are not interested no. yet. No. Eh? No. You think uh, your major, you will make a difference with it if you stay away from politics. I'd rather not be too heavily involved in politics uh -huh. because with politics come a bunch of stress uh -huh. and problems. So yeah. I. You'd rather be a teacher, a professor, or a um, business owner, something like that? Mm -hmm. And what will be your first business that you, you have on your mind that you will open? With the support of your family, I'm sure. Maybe hair products. Hair products. 
Okay, that will sell a lot. You'll be making a lot of money, right? Yes. And my hair will come back as black, right? You will do that to me? Yes. <laughs> and now let's go back to uh, Turner. Just uh, as a reminder, you are going to tell them, okay, classes that are available, the schedule, and what is his, why is it important for somebody to learn a trade but it's, it's, it, it's okay, but uh, everything is available to them. Let's go ahead and yeah. just give me more details. Um, for our career programs, mm -hmm. like construction and stuff, it's $2.56 per hour. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, construction, it's 90, 900 mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. So you just multiply that by $2.56 um, $2 okay. and you have your total amount. And we accept two payments, cash and um, card. With card, though, you have to pay in full. Okay. But for cash, you can pay in installments mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, middle, and toward the end of the summer. Oh, this in three? Yeah. Three times. Okay. They have a plan for you to pay. Yes. Okay. And for our um, general classes, like um, English, ESOL, or GED, that's $40 for the whole trimester. Mm -hmm. It's just one payment and then you're good. You're good, three months. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then most of those classes, like from six months to a year, you are going to finish with them. It's completed. Mm -hmm. And uh, in case that they need to, some of them or most of them, you have to have the state license. Okay, is the, the Turner Tech, is it going to the, the professors, the teachers, are they going to help them prepare, prepare for the, for, to take that uh, final exam, they say the state exam? Yes. Okay, that will be done, it's included in, within the price that they are paying. Yes. And financial aid is available, as, as you said, and the first step is to go to FAFSA.gov and apply and how long does it take again in order to to have a response and, and a reply from FAFSA website two to four days two to four days and then and you know and most of the time do they have to repay that money or is something that they will just go to school and make sure that they have good grades and they pass and they don't have to, to pay back um, for the most part, I'm yeah. not too knowledgeable about that portion, mm -hmm. but... But if they go to the school? Make, per, yeah. The financial aid person, specialist will be there to provide the information yes. for that. Okay, but before we go, uh, is there a specific message for those, those people that are thinking right now by going? And what is the address again for Turner? Um, we gave the phone number, but not the address. <laughs> right. Um, our address is 10151 mm -hmm. Northwest 19th Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33147. And the phone number for Turner? 305-691-8324. Okay. And as you said earlier, it's better to, to call or to come to visit? To visit. To visit. And it's because you have a lot of people in the waiting room, they have priority. If they are there, they need to bring. If they want to visit, they need to bring the ID. ID, uh -huh. um, registration, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. And uh, you guys are receiving people are open from what time to what time? It's a Monday to Friday, or you open on Saturday as well? We are, I'd say people Monday through Thursday. Okay. And from 3 to 9. To 9. Yes. Okay, but you don't have classes uh, on Saturday? Our only Saturday class is the citizenship class. Class that they have. Yes. Okay, and just before we go, the phone number is 305 691. 8324 and the address is 101 51 Northwest 19th Avenue mm -hmm. Miami Florida 33147 from 3 to 5 Monday through Thursday Thursday they need to come by and they, when they come they will see you yes okay some people will say that you have a monde qui parle créole est-ce qu'il y a un monde qui parle créole oui on parle créole vous parlez créole oui c'est aujourd'hui on devrait parler anglais avec nous oui okay <laughs> Alors, dans ce cas, 
et Joana Saint-Val, merci pour participation. Est-ce que vous avez un dernier bagage que vous avez partagé avec les jeunes parents ou bien les gens qui sont intéressés pour le podcast internet Qui sont à dire Je parle pour tout le monde. Mm -hmm. um, Père Parisien, nos grands peuples, nous qui avons fait rien si nous mettons la tête nous là-dedans, so, nous sommes venus à prendre nos métiers et puis sortir dans le travail. Al travail. Oui, l'autre bagaille tout, le monde n'a fini d'apprendre le métier. Est-ce que l'école là a PD pour joindre le travail si il y a besoin? Oui. Ok, et qui j'en fait ça? Parce que, I know it's better in English if you say it, right? That's when if they, 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 after they are done with the learning a trade and the school will be able to help them get a job, and how the school will be able to do that? Our teachers mm -hmm. can provide um, connections or references that they can call so that they can get careers in that path. Mm -hmm. Or you can also apply to Miami Day schools under one of their positions that they have open. Okay. And the phone number again for Turner Tech is 305-691-8324. And the address? 10151 Northwest 19th Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33147. Okay, young lady, thank you for participating in our meeting today. And I would like to thank you for making the deplacement to the west. Joanna Saint-Val, in Turner Tech, from Monday to Jeudi, okay, between 3h and 5h, she is here to talk with us. Okay, even if she doesn't speak Creole today, she speaks Creole very well. She will give us all the information that we need. It is enough that we are going to talk to her in 305. 691 83 24 il y a bon un rendez-vous OK pour capable passer dans l'école là le mieux ou besoin sous besoin qu'on plus de détails sur Dead County Public School vocational section OK pas hésiter à aller dans 305 558 80 00 c'est façon ça que nous capable valoriser tête nous apprendre nos métiers valoriser famille et puis tout métier c'est un an gain aide financière qui disponible pour qualifier ou venir Relé Kounia dans 305 558 80 00. Allez dans Turner qui est dans 101 101 54 54 Northwest 14 Avenue. Right? No. What Avenue? 19th Avenue. 19th Avenue. Avenue. And the phone number is 305 691 8324. 305 691 83 24. Et puis, mes offices dans 305 558 80 00. Joana Seval, merci pour votre participation. Je vous souhaite de vous encore que vous avez plus de détails sur une série de classes qui sont spécifiques, que peut-être que vous avez besoin de monde rapide qui vous donne la donne. Je vous merci. Ok, merci pour votre participation. Je vous souhaite de vous voir très bientôt. Mon nom, non pas moi, c'est Marc Lumet. Je vous dis tout le monde merci. L'information est extrêmement importante. Pas oublier, René, dans 305 558 80 00 pour plus d'informations. Nous allons continuer à valoriser la tête de nos amis de Kafoua. Joana, nous valorisons nos amis de Kafoua. Merci pour votre participation. Merci. Nous disons tout le monde merci. À la prochaine. Continuez à valoriser la tête de nos amis de Kafoua. Abonnez, subscribe dans notre chaîne YouTube de Kafoua. La bonne vous. Mitan Kafoua, c'est le podium pour tout Haïtien ordinaire qui fait un travail extraordinaire. Quel que soit le côté où il y a à travers le monde, nous menons sur le podium Mitan Kafoua. Les gens qui sont les gens qui sont les gens qui sont les gens nous devons valoriser dans Mitan Kafoua. Ce sont des Haïtiens qui font un travail extraordinaire. Et ce sont des gens ordinaires. Ils sont humbles, ils ne sont pas aimés parler de tête. C'est ça qui fait qu'ils parlent pour eux. Et je dis à eux, ils ont chance. Ils viennent partager la vie privée et la vie professionnelle. Avec vous, côté quoi besoin d'inspiration, côté que y a guidé pour capable progresser tout. Mitan Kafoua, c'est podium tout haïtien ordinaire qui font un travail extraordinaire. Nous valorisons dans Mitan Kafoua. Mene.